So hopped in the truck this afternoon and have driven about four hours to get to where we're camping tonight. Gonna have a night here, wake up first thing in the morning, drive to the start of the track. We've got about between five and six hours on a track before we get into our hunting zone and then hopefully from there we'll be able to pick up some big reds or some big chamois and we'll just wait and see. So I got up this morning, sparrows fart, nice and early, and got ourselves onto the track. And now we're about to start our ascent. We've got about, I think we get up to about 1,100, somewhere around there, and then we'll drop down the other side and into hopefully some hunting country. So yeah, let's get into it. So we've done our climb now, we're at just over a thousand metres, I think it's about 1,100 or something around there. Um, it's taken us a few hours, lost a wee bit of sweat, um, but now we're sort of heading from here, pass a lot of this top stuff up here, have a look around, see if we can't find a few shams before we drop down into the bush and along the valley floor, hopefully get to camp tonight. Glassing for the last hour or so, sort of glass the whole catchment behind me. Picked up a couple young shams and what we think is about a seven point stag, but not big enough for us to shoot. So we're going to have a bit of a feed and then drop down into the valley and see where we end up. walking all day, it's about 4 30 now, and we've finally got into the catchment area that we want to be glassing tonight. Um, just a minute, it's not obviously. Um, so we're just going to park up, find a spot, and just glass and see if anything comes out. There's a few clearings just over the way here, so we'll glass those and see what we can see. Just glancing, just connected. 
a new glass light slide. Just this little catchment here. But so far I've been pretty disappointed. Uh, we've picked up one young sham and a couple uh, a hind and a yellow and a fawn. But very, very little animals in here, so we'll keep blasting and see what happens, but not looking great. Right. At the moment we are just covered in sand flies and mini bits. And that's about all we've got for our troubles. <laughs> Got up first thing this morning, packed up the tent, and now we're just off on our last wee morning hunt before we start off the uh, the big trek out. So hopefully we'll pick up something easy this morning. Didn't end up seeing anything on the way out, and it was a massive walk back to the truck. It was about seven hours of beating the feet on a track, which was a pretty big job. But overall, it was a pretty sick trip, and looking forward to heading back in there again. <laughs> 